Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, blue rectangle uh, OABC fully inscribed uh, in a quarter circle, uh, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the area of this uh, blue rectangle is uh, 48 uh, centimeters square, and the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle uh, is uh, 10 uh, centimeter this way and uh, this way. 10 centimeter and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded region please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our action plan before we do anything else uh, we must go ahead and find the length uh, and uh, width uh, of this uh, blue rectangle let me go ahead and label uh, this uh, length of this rectangle uh, as x uh, and the width uh, as uh, y. And now we are going to find the value of x uh, and uh, y. And now we know that the area of this uh, blue rectangle that has been given to us uh, as 48. And now let's recall the area of rectangle formula. Area equals to length uh, times width. And in our case, our length is x uh, and width is uh, y. So therefore, we can write as x times y equals to area is 48. Let me go ahead and call this our equation number 1. And here's our next step. I have connected this center O with this point B. And as a result, we got this right triangle OAB. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this OB is the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle and we know the radius is uh, 10 so therefore uh, this OB is going to be 10 centimeter and now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle uh, OAB and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg uh, as side c I'm going to call this side uh, a and this side uh, lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. A in our case is x. So this is going to become x square and this become y square equal to c is 10 whole square. So therefore this equation is going to become x square plus y square equals to 100. Let me go ahead and call this our equation number 2. And now we are going to solve the system of these two equations to find out the value of x and y. And now let's recall this famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus b square plus 2ab. If I call this a as our x and b as y, then our this identity could be written as x plus y whole square equal to x square plus uh, y square plus uh, 2 times uh, x uh, y. Now we know that our x square plus y square value from equation 2 is uh, 100 and the value of x times y is uh, 48 from equation 1. So therefore x plus y whole square could be written as, uh, let me go ahead and substitute these values. So this is 100 plus uh, 2 times uh, 48. Eight. So if we simplify everything, uh, we get uh, x plus y whole square equals to 196. Let me go ahead and undo this square by taking a square root on uh, both sides. So therefore, uh, this square and square root is gone. So therefore, our x plus y value is uh, going to be, I'm going to pick the positive value. So this is going to be 14. Let me call this our equation uh, number uh, 3. And now let's recall another identity, a minus b whole square could be written as a square plus b square minus 2ab. And likewise, I'm going to replace uh, a by x and b by y. Then this uh, identity could be written as uh, x minus y whole square equals to x square plus y square minus 2 times xy. And now once again, uh, x square plus y square is uh, 100. And this uh, x times y from equation 1 is uh, 48. So therefore, this equation is going to become x minus y 
whole square equals to 100 minus 2 times 48. So if we simplify everything, uh, we ended up with uh, x minus y whole square equal to 4. Let me go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking square root uh, on both sides. So therefore, uh, on the left hand side, we got uh, x minus y equals to positive 2. Let me go ahead and call this our equation uh, number 4. And now let's go ahead and add uh, equations 3 and 4 to solve for x and y. And here I have copied down equations 3 and 4. Now let's go ahead and add these two equations. This y and negative y is gone. So therefore 2x turns out to be 16. Let's divide both sides by 2. So therefore our x value turns out to be 8. And now let's go ahead and substitute x equal to 8 value in this uh, equation 3. And here I have copied down equation uh, 3 and I'm going to replace this uh, x value by 8. So therefore we got uh, 8 plus y equals to 14. Let's go ahead and subtract 8 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore y value turns out to be 6. So thus our x value turns out to be 8 and y value is uh, 6 as you can see over here. And since we are dealing with this uh, rectangle, so therefore uh, this uh, side length is going to be 8 as well. And this side length is going to be 6. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, right triangle uh, OCB. And we are interested in finding this uh, angle. Uh, let me go ahead and call this angle theta. And now let's recall uh, so cart and we are interested in uh, sine theta equal to opposite over hypotenuse. And in our case, our uh, opposite side is 8 and our hypotenuse uh, is uh, 10. So therefore, we can write uh, sine of uh, theta equals to 8 divided by 10 or simply sine of uh, theta equal to 0 0.8 or simply theta is going to be sine inverse of uh, 0 0.8 and if we use a scientific calculator our theta is going to be equal to 53.13 degrees. So therefore our this angle turns out to be 53.13 degrees. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, yellow shaded area is going to be equal to the area of this uh, sector uh, OBQ minus uh, the area of this uh, triangle uh, OCB. And now we know that the area of this uh, blue rectangle is uh, 48. So therefore the area of this uh, half of this rectangle uh, which is our triangle OCB is going to be the half of uh, 48. So this is going to be our 24. So therefore the area of this uh, triangle OCB turns out to be 24. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, sector OBQ. And now let's recall the area of a sector formula. Area equals to theta divided by 360 degrees times pi r square. And in our case, uh, our angle theta is 53.13 degrees and our radius uh, r is 10 centimeters. So let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, sector OBQ by filling in the blanks in this uh, formula. Theta in our case is uh, 53.13 degrees divided by 360 degrees times uh, pi times uh, r in our case is uh, 10 whole square. And we know 10 square is uh, 100. And if we simplify everything on the right hand side, uh, the area of this uh, sector OBQ turns out to be 14.76 times pi. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, in this uh, equation. We already figured out uh, area of this uh, triangle OCB and the area of this uh, sector OBQ. And now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So this is going to be 14. 0.76 uh, pi 
minus 24. So this the area of this uh, yellow region turns out to be 14.76 uh, pi minus 24. And here's our final answer for the yellow region area. And that could also be written as uh, 22.36 uh, centimeter square. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.